Volvo has revealed the 2018 Volvo XC40, its smallest SUV and the first to use not only its new architecture but the company's all-new way to buy cars. The XC40 slots in beneath vehicles like well received XC60 and XC90, but though it borrows technology and styling from them both, it's built upon an entirely new platform. That's Volvo Cars Modular Vehicle Architecture, CMA, that will eventually form the basis of an all-new 40 series range, not to mention fully electric cars. For the moment, though, we have the 2018 XC40. It has a more striking design than its bigger siblings, markedly similar to the Volvo 40.2 concept the Swedish automaker showed off in May 2016. The front gets the same Thor's hammer LED lights, flanking a bold grille, but the rear blends familiar features like Volvo's hockey stick lamps with more unusual aspects like an oversized C-pillar. It's a neat visual trick that pushes the cabin forward visually, and gives the XC40 an eager stance. That's particularly effective with the bicolor paint, combining a separate color for the main body of the small SUV and the roof section. It looks, though, like that will be an option for anyone not quite convinced. Inside, anybody who has been in a recent Volvo car or SUV will find it a familiar place. That's no bad thing, certainly, given how polished Volvo's interiors have become since the launch of the XC90. There's the same census infotainment system, with its large portrait orientation touchscreen in the center console along with a larger number of cubbies and storage bins than you might expect. Indeed, you get more space in the doors and under the seats, a fold-out hook for small bags, and even a removable trash bin in the tunnel console. A nook for your phone supports wireless charging, just in time for the iPhone 8. Speaking of electricity, there'll eventually be EV models, but not at launch. Instead, Volvo will debut the XC40 with a D4 diesel or a T5 gas four-cylinder drive E engine, though it's unclear at this stage whether both will make it to the US. Later on will come a hybrid gas-electric model and a full electric, in addition to the XC40 at some point being the first to use Volvo's new three-cylinder engine. As for safety technology, Volvo is known for it and the XC40 is no different. There's pilot assist driving assistance, city safety, runoff road protection and mitigation, and cross traffic alert with brake support. A 360 degree camera should ease any concerns about reversing because of those chunky rear pillars. What's new, though, is care by Volvo. It's the company's reimagined way to own a new car, though in fact ownership isn't really part of it. Instead, the automaker has borrowed from the idea of cell phone subscriptions. So, you pay a monthly fee but don't have to think about a down payment, insurance, taxes, service fees, or anything related to geographical or customer age, according to Volvo. After 24 months of driving, you get a new Volvo. Care by Volvo will use the automaker's new digital key technology, too allowing subscribers to share their car with friends and family more easily. Compared to traditional leasing, there'll be more of a focus on services and flexibility. Volvo says that users will be able to switch cars temporarily, depending on what they need, so, if you wanted a larger car for a weekend to help someone move house, that could be arranged. It'll be designed to work with the company's in-car delivery service where couriers can drop off packages directly to the trunk of your vehicle. Finally, there will be no negotiation process in the dealership, with set pricing both nationally and a unified price in Eurozone countries. Initially, it'll be offered in Sweden, the United Kingdom, Germany, Spain, Italy, Norway, Poland, and the United States. Exactly how much care by Volvo will cost and how much the 2018 Volvo XC40 will cost generally, is yet to be confirmed. We'll presumably know more in the coming weeks, ahead of the SUV entering production in November.